Ever shivered at the sight of a lotus seed head? Ever felt your skin crawl at the sight of boiling milk or pancake batter bubbling on a hot griddle? If so, you might be experiencing what's known as trypophobia. This peculiar aversion isn't to the objects themselves, but rather to the clusters of holes or bumps that they present. Trypophobia, a term believed to be coined in 2005 by an anonymous Irish woman, isn't officially recognized in the realm of mental disorders. However, its presence online is undeniable. Countless individuals share images that trigger their trypophobia, from natural objects like seed pods and boiling milk to more disturbing images of holes superimposed on human bodies. But why would someone experience such a visceral reaction to harmless objects? Research suggests it could be an instinctual fear of harm from legitimately dangerous things transferred to harmless objects. Jeff Cole and Alan Wilkins, two researchers at the University of Essex, found that images triggering trypophobia shared high contrast colors in a particular spatial distribution, a characteristic also found in many dangerous organisms. In a study, they showed a picture of a lotus seed head to a group of men and women. Surprisingly, 11% of the men and 18% of women described the image as uncomfortable or even repulsive. However, not everyone agrees that trypophobia is a distinct condition. There are skeptics who believe it's merely a combination of anxiety, priming, and conditioning. Despite this, more recent research by the Essex scientists suggests that trypophobic reactions are not correlated with anxiety. So there you have it. Trypophobia, a unique aversion to clusters of holes or bumps, is a fascinating phenomenon that blurs the line between fear, phobia, and anxiety. Whether it stems from an instinctual fear of harmful organisms or is a byproduct of anxiety and conditioning, it reminds us of the complex and sometimes surprising ways in which our brains respond to the world around us.